After our second episode's musical introduction, we find our April storytellers transporting us back to the early years of Joe Kaplan's life. A different life. A life, well, portrayed slightly differently than we saw in episode one. During these early formative years, Joe met, let me say, some interesting, interesting characters. As we shall see shortly, this period was punctuated by Joe's introduction to the family. Finally, episode two takes us along on an exploration of Joe's life today. I hope you thoroughly enjoy episode two. City tennis team, recording secretary, Spanish club, varsity track team, one year, honorable mention, Cook County Science Fair, future enterprisers, yearbook staff, student council, two years. Well, Joel, your stats are very respectable. You've done some solid work here, but it's not quite Ivy League now, is it? You know, Bill, there's one thing I've learned in all my years. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? Make your move. I beg your pardon? So, how we doing? Looks like the University of Michigan. Hey, Joe, Ben Smith here, wishing you a happy 50th birthday, and, uh, uh, many more, of course. Thinking about a uh, couple, couple memories of, of you, 
The first, of course, is the first time I ever saw you, which was driving 30 miles an hour with Steve Cohen on the roof of your car. Um, sorry, your kids are probably watching this, but it is true. Um, the second is you coaching intramural ice hockey with a jacket and tie on, wanting to be Scotty Bowman or uh, Claude Julien or something like that. And uh, the third, of course, is your uh, dead ringer looks for Tony Roberts, uh, co-star of many a Woody Allen movie that we watched at A22 Oakland. Um, hope you have a great time, Cindy. Uh, you both are really lucky and best wishes. All in favor? Uh, yeah. 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 We need the dudes. Good. Larry Kroger is now pledged to Delta Tau Chi. Next slide, please, D Day. term grades will really help our average. <laughs> Laugh now. Because you clowns have been on double secret probation since the beginning of this semester. Double secret probation? And that means one more slip up, one more mistake. And this fraternity of yours has had it. I think we've got to do something. He's serious this time. I think he knows about the exams. He's right. You're right. We gotta do something. Absolutely. You know what we gotta do? Toga, Toga party. Stratton and Schoenstein? We looked everywhere, sir, but... Never mind. It doesn't matter. Have you gentlemen seen your midterm grades yet? Oh, they're not posted yet, sir. I've seen them. Mr. Kroger. Two C's, two D's, and an F. That's a 1.2 grade average. Congratulations, Kroger. You're at the top of the Delta Pledge class. Mr. Dorfman. Hello. 0 0.2. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Mr. Hoover, president of Delta House. 1.6, four C's and an F. A fine example you set. Daniel Simpson Day has no grade point average. All courses incomplete. Mr. Blue... Mr. Blutarski. Zero point zero. Now I want you to tell Mrs. Stratton and Mr. Schoenstein exactly what I'm about to tell you now. What's that, sir? You're out. Finished at Faber. Expelled. I want you off this campus at 9 o'clock Monday morning. You can't spend your whole life worried about your mistakes. You fucked up. You trusted us. Good. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But until that day, accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day.
We are commodities brokers, William. Now, what are commodities? Commodities are agricultural products, like coffee that you had for breakfast, wheat, which is used to make bread, pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. We're going down the drain, okay? The stock is plummeting. It is going down. If you're not inside, you are outside. Just the beginning path. for yourself when someone else can do it for you. And number two? Rule number two, in Japan, men always come first, women come second. I'm going to have to with you. Are you a hooker? Jesus, I forgot. I just thought I was doing great with you. Now this is Vegas. Do a night we'll never forget. Yeah, yeah. What you need to do is be thankful for the life you got, you know what I'm saying? Stop looking at what you ain't got and start being thankful for what you do got. Let's get it to him, baby girl. Hey!